Hello, and welcome to Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Hey guys, and welcome back to the show. As always, I'm your host, Justin Archer, aka The Posture Guy, your number one source on pain, posture, and performance. And today, we're going to be talking about how to enjoy reading pain-free. Now, if you missed the show earlier this week, I was talking about how to enjoy watching TV pain-free. But I know that there's a lot of my posture peeps out there who, you know, as much as they may love watching TV and movies, they much prefer, you know, cuddling up on a couch or in bed with their favorite book. So, and I, I totally hear you, and this post is specifically made for you guys, all right? Um, because myself, you know, included, you know, I love TV and movies, like I said in the last post, um, probably more so than reading, but I do from time to time love to sit down with a, a good book. I got one right here. Dexter is delicious. If you guys haven't read the Dexter series um, from Jeff Lindsay, which the Showtime show is based off of, oh my god, you definitely have to get into it. I think there's like five or six books out now. This is, I think, the third or, or fourth one, um, but they're all good. And even if you've seen the show, they're different enough that you can enjoy the books and you can enjoy the TV show, which I love both. Um, but make sure to check that out. The uh, I even forget what the first one is, but they're like Dexter's Delicious, Dexter's uh, Darkly Dreaming, all that D stuff, you know. Um, and they're all by Jeff Lindsay. So uh, if you like that type of book, if you like the show, you'll definitely love this. Um, so this is one of my favorites. Um, but I know that if I read it, you know, a few chapters uh, in the wrong position, then I'm definitely going to pay for it. I start to feel things like tightness in my upper back, my neck, my shoulders round and forward, uh, I might get some like stiff neck or neck pain, headaches, migraines, eye strain, you know, any one or number of those uh, various symptoms. And I'm sure you're familiar with, you know, what I'm talking about. And so what I wanted to share with you today is, first of all, how to notice, notice you know, if you're reading in the wrong position and then how to go about correcting it and also give you some exercise you can do to prepare your body so that when you go into a reading position, your body's gonna just naturally assume the best position it can so that you can enjoy your book, your story, pain-free, all right? So first of all, what are most people doing wrong when they sit down to read a book is, well, they sit down, you know? A lot of us know by now that sitting is the new smoking, you know? It's just really bad for you, just like they could equate, you know, um, each cigarette, how much of your life it'll take off. Well, there's been tons of studies to show that, you know, for every hour of sitting, how much it's going to take off of your life. Now, I know most people maybe aren't too keen on standing or walking around when they read, um, but still, you can change your position. So most of the time when people sit, and I don't know if you can see this here in the video, but they go into pelvic and hip flexion, right? So they sit down in a chair and they kind of sink into it, especially if it's like a sofa or a lazy boy. And then basically their butt tucks under, their whole spine now goes from an S shape into a C shape. And that basically rounds their upper back, their shoulders go forward because they're holding the book like this. And then even if you have relatively good eyesight, you're really focused and maybe you really are into the story and you're reading like this. And you can see from this side position, you know, where all that tightness in the upper back, shoulders, neck, uh, headaches, migraines, eye strain, all this goes from, because look how far forward my head is from my shoulders. But remember, that all started from down below because the pelvis tucked under and the lower back started to round. So something you can do to change that is what's called sitting in extension. All it means is that roll your hips forward and put an arch in your lower back, basically like if you're trying to stick your butt out. And this is best done if you're in more of a dining room chair, something with your feet, uh, probably about 18 inches high for most people. Your feet should be flat on the ground. Doesn't work really well if you're in a lazy boy recliner, obviously because your feet are elevated. Um, so that's number one. Uh, number two is if you can stand up or, you know, if you're okay doing that, you know, do stand up or even, you know, walk around a little bit in your home. Uh, there's been tons of studies that show that the more you move, the faster your thought process is, your imagination. So uh, I'm not kidding. When I walk around reading, whether it's something I'm studying anatomy-wise or something fictional I'm reading, um, especially fictional, the story just comes to life and my imagination just works that much better. Um, so it will really uh, enhance your reading experience. Now, one thing that I see as kind of a common denominator, no matter if you're sitting, standing, or walking, is a lot of people will assume this position, because they hold it kind of in front of them, downward, 
and they're looking into the book, right, like this. Well, what you can do to improve that is simply bring the book up to you rather than bringing your head down into the book. So bring it up to here, and instead of, let me set this down for a second, instead of internally rotating to hold the book like this, you want to externally rotate, okay? So now let me bring the book back here so you can see this. From the side, it would look like this, okay? And from the front, it would look like this. I know you guys can't see me, but um, it, yeah, it would look like this. And so that way, you're actually promoting shoulder flexion and external rotation, which is actually one of the most stable positions that you can put the shoulder in. Um, so I'm being distracted by a cat in the window. <laughs> Just jumped up like seriously, almost half a story. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, so that's what you can do focusing on the on a better position reading. Um, there's also a couple exercises that you can do because from years and years or probably your whole life of reading kind of like this, I know myself, my internal rotators, um, my pectoral major, minor, um, the, uh, the anterior deltoid here, all the internal rotators have gotten very strong, right? Because not only do we read like this, but we drive like this, we work on our computers like that, uh, all our mobile devices, you know, our flexion internal rotation, usually with head jutted forward. So a lot of our day-to-day -day activities breed that type of posture. So what you basically want to do is stretch your flexors and internal rotators, stretch them out, and then strengthen what's on the other side, your extensors and uh, external rotators, all right? And just assuming that position, this, this elbows in, hands, think about bringing them out, will actually help do that. But I've got a couple exercises for you. And actually, I these are the same exercises uh, that I talked about in how to go about relieving eye symptoms. And that was basically for how to use your mobile device in a better position and some exercise you can do uh, to improve your experience with your mobile device, whether it be your phone or an iPad or you know what have you. Because um, if you think about it, they're very similar, the way that you use a mobile device and the way that you hold and interact with a book. Granted, mobile device, you're more touching and dragging and doing things like that, but it's more so that same position, right? So um, instead of showing the exercise here, I've linked to that post down below, and there's three in the video, and then there's three linked to in the post below. Uh, so make sure to check those out. I'll also put a link to uh, the how to watch TV pain-free, because, you know, the thing you have to remember is form follows function, and I say that again and again and again, but it's, you know, if I would get into the bumper sticker business or maybe t-shirts, I would definitely make that one that says form follows function, because that's the way that we get into these postures and we get these symptoms that we have is by doing something repetitively. Your body has no prejudice against motion, good motion, bad motion. It'll take whatever you give it and then adapt. So your body will do whatever you want it to do. Just be mindful and be careful of what you ask it to do, all right? Maybe your whole life you're reading like this and you were feeding it this stimulus and that's why your posture's like this and this is why you have, like I mentioned, um, you know, upper neck, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches, migraines, uh, you know, eye strains, things like that. Well, we need to break that, that habit, that circuit and feed your body new stimulus, you know, external rotation extension rather than internal rotation and flexion and once we do that and we start to make that a habit now we're feeding your body good stimulus and it's going to adapt in a good way all right so i hope that helps clear things up for you and it will help enhance your reading experience i know it has for myself and tons of other clients of mine um, of mine excuse me <laughs> uh, but also i'm interested to know what are some of your favorite books and authors because I love the Dexter series. I'd say that's my favorite. Um, but I think I only have one or two more to go and then I'm going to be looking for something new to read. So I'm interested to know uh, what you enjoy and would recommend. All right. And you can leave those in the comment section below. Uh, anyways, thanks for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Until then, take care and keep moving.